Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brain Hodge Vlog number 58. One very quick note before I actually start this video. I want to plug this, I don't want to plug this heavily because it's going to be something amazing. So next week I will be in New York City. I might do a meetup, but that's not what this little announcement is about. The announcement is I'm going to be in New York City for like four days. And see, I can do non-wrestling content on this channel because people just aren't into it. So all the, all the non-wrestling vlogs will actually be on my second channel. So if you're interested in my New York City trip and my experience and me visiting the Statue of Liberty and all kinds of fun stuff, Times Square and stuff like that in New York City, I'll go to the second channel, watch those vlogs. But there will be a wrestling vlog here on the channel. I'm actually going up to meet CM Punk. I believe I'm going to meet Mick Foley and maybe Tommy Dream or some other wrestlers over there at the Eternal Con. It's, uh, it's not in New York City. It's actually in Long Island, but we're staying in New York City. Uh, but anyway, there's going to be amazing vlogs over the, on the second channel. So I appreciate if you guys actually watch those. I'll try to make them as entertaining as as filmmaking, filmmaking if that's a word, as possible. Um, uh, but yeah, that's really all I want to say. Next week there's gonna be a vlog, me meeting CM Punk, so don't miss it. Anyway, enough of me running my mouth. Enjoy this vlog, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another vlog. Brandon Hodge here. Um, so today is a pretty cool day. Where I'm going back to Fanboy Expo. This is my third year in a row going to Fanboy Expo. Uh, yesterday I picked up Mr. Wyatt fan. So I drove to Knoxville yesterday and picked him up, and then we went to the mall, and I found this awesome Bullet Club shirt. Also found the Cody Rhodes American Nightmare shirt. Um, hot Topic, pretty cool. Bullet Club. Uh, and then also yesterday, the main reason I picked him up is because we had to film part of this skit or the series I'm doing. I can't exactly tell you what it is, but it's gonna be releasing here in mid-July. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Okay. Cut. Um, but that's basically all I can say. But right now we're about to head out to um. Oh, I forgot to mention why my wall looks like this. So, I'm having like some hanging issues. Like, I don't know. I guess I need to get wall anchors or whatever. Um, I had issues with like a few things falling off, and all that. And this is missing because my uh, I'm getting Sting to sign my uh, World Heavyweight Championship. Um. So we did something a little bit crazy to the World Heavyweight Championship yesterday. Um, so I don't know if you've been following the vlog for very long, but when I met Ric Flair, I had him to sign one of the belt, woo, and the other side, Ric Flair. And yesterday, I decided to change that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is actually the night before we're going to Fanboy Expo. And I'm going around my room thinking, what the hell am I going to get Sting to sign? I actually bought this stupid mask off of eBay for like $12 and like, it's just like this cheap TNA thing. I don't know what to get him to sign. And then I'm looking around my room, what's the only belt Sting has ever won? That would be this one. But the, th for the problem with this, I'll go ahead and take it off the wall here. Ric Flair have signed both snap boxes. Woo there and Ric Flair there. I think it would be really, really cool to have this to be a Ric Flair and Sting belt. To have Ric Flair sign here and Sting over here. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to take off the woo that Ric Flair signed. It really hurts me to do so, but I think it'll be a really nice piece once I get Sting over here. So I'm not too sure how to take this off. I'm hoping some glass cleaner, AKA Windex will uh, help with that. So I'm gonna do a little test strip back here to make sure it's not gonna take off like the dye or anything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take off this woo, unfortunately, but it'll be amazing when Sting signs it. Okay, so the um, Windex thing didn't work because it doesn't have alcohol in it. So apparently Lysol does disinfectant spray. We tried it a bit here and it could take off a little bit, but it take, it's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease here. Might have to have something a little bit stronger. Hold on. So we found some Germex. I believe this has alcohol in it. I guess we'll see if we can uh, do that. It's already faded a lot compared to over here how bright that is. So we'll let him get it off and get Sting to sign this thing tomorrow. I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, so we actually Googled it and odd enough, sunscreen, it says, takes off um, permanent marker from leather. So we'll see how this works. Ooh, it's yellow. Ew. Oh, wow. Cute. Looks like a brand new belt. <laughs> Amazing. That's gone. We'll, we'll polish this with water and stuff. Look like brand new. Get Sting to sign this thing tomorrow. So this is my third year in a row going to Fanboy Expo. Um, the first year in 2015 we met Edge. Uh, last year we met Ricky Steamboat, uh, Buff Bagwell, Scott Hall, and Kevin Nash. Um, and then this year they have like more wrestlers than they've ever had. 
They have Sting, Lita, Vader, Scott Steiner, uh, Hacksaw, Jim Duck. They have a lot of a lot of wrestlers this year. I'm not too sure if I'm a media wrestler because my my money's a little tight right now since I'm flying up to New York City next week. Uh, but I should be able to meet Sting and Lita and maybe one more person hopefully. But anyway, guys, enough of me running my mouth. I have an hour and a half drive to Knoxville, Tennessee, the Knoxville Convention Center for Fanboy Expo 2017. So here we go. All right, so we're here at the Knoxville Convention Center for the third year in a row. Got my belt, got my Wyatt. We're gonna go meet Sting and some other wrestlers, hopefully. So we finally got through that line. How long was it, like 40 minutes? Yeah, probably like 40 minutes. 40 minutes, that's insane. Normally we just walk in here, get our ticket and go down there. But we're going down there right now. That's where the convention whole thing is. Sting's down there, hopefully his line's not too long. Sting. Nice. Right there. Oh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just met the icon Sting. It was super cool. Yeah, pretty cool guy. Um, as for things we got signed, he got this Funko Pop signed by Sting, and I got my belt, like I told you guys earlier, Ric Flair here, and Sting over here. And as for my photo, this is how my photo turned out. I think it turned out pretty well. So, amazing experience. It was 100 bucks for a combo. I think it was worth it, but pretty cool experience. Well, they got some WWF cards and WCWs. Lita. All right, guys, we met Lita. Uh, Lita was pretty cool. Um, there is so many freaking people in here. It's hard to like walk and vlog and stuff. Um, but I guess that's all I'm gonna do here. There's a lot of little Comic-Con stuff here, but yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys when I leave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're leaving Fanboy Expo right now. Uh, all I met was Sting and Lita, but that was, was like the headline wrestlers. I didn't want to pay $30 just for a photo with Vader or anything like that. Um, but we're leaving Fanboy right now. I think we're going to go get a bite to eat. Then I'm taking him home, going back to my house. And then I guess I'll give you my thoughts then. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this part of the vlog and I'll see you guys when I'm home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm now back home from Fanboy Expo. That was actually a lot of fun. It was a really, really crowded this year. It's probably the crowdest I've ever seen in my entire life. It took us an hour just to get a ticket to go inside. Then we had to stay in Sting's line and all that. So once we got in, we went to Sting's line. Uh, it was like, I would say probably like a 45 minute wait or something like that in Sting's line. Um, so Sting, there's a lot of people there to meet Sting and the way they had that set up, they had him like blocked off so you couldn't take a free picture of him or anything. Uh, and obviously that means I couldn't vlog in there with them or anything, so that kind of sucked. Then I also met Lita, um, she had a bit of a, she, she had like a tiny line, I didn't want to like, uh, have to do, uh, have to like hold up everyone to have something done for YouTube or whatever, but I met Lita, Sting, and I went inside, and that cost me almost $200, so this is not cheap, I, it was only $30 for a photo with Lita, it was 100 for a combo with Sting, and 30 to go in, so it's really expensive, there's a lot of wrestlers there, but I really cannot afford to meet all of them at the moment. I couldn't afford it uh, because I'm flying up to New York City next week meeting CM Punk, I believe, uh, Mick Foley, Tommy Dreamer. Uh, there's some other wrestlers there I might meet. I'm not too sure, but uh, here's the belt I guess. I showed you a fanboy, but it looks pretty good. It has the uh, Sting autograph right there, and then over here, of course, Ric Flair. So there'll be a nice piece uh, for the collection. Of course, that always hangs right there. So hopefully you guys actually enjoyed this vlog. It, it was probably a pretty short vlog, but uh, CM Punk vlog is going to be absolutely amazing. That's going to be the next vlog on the channel. Uh, my next actual WWE show vlog, I believe that's not going to be until like July the 17th, and uh, I'm going to the Raw in Nashville, uh, and then I'm also going to Philadelphia for Battleground and Raw after in DC and all that good stuff. Uh, amazing vlogs coming to the channel pretty soon. 
I hope you guys enjoy this one and thank you guys for watching. This is the end card. Download to my second channel. Over here are some previous videos you guys may have not seen that you'll probably enjoy. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to like this video. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. It's absolutely free. I will see you guys in the next video.